Look, when you have a movie that looks like a direct ripoff of Jurassic Park and it's not part of the Jurassic Park series, but it's better than the last two Jurassic Park movies combined, I think you have yourself a win. And no, I don't care what it says on the goddamn 4K collection for the Jurassic Park series. I don't care if it says Jurassic World. The series will forever be called Jurassic Park, and there's nothing they can do to change that. Sixty-five stars Adam Driver and Ariana Greenblatt, and is written and directed by the guys who I believe co-wrote uh, *A Quiet Place*. After a catastrophic crash on an unknown planet, pilot Mills quickly discovers he's actually stranded on Earth, sixty-five million years ago. Now, with only one chance at rescue, Mills and the only other survivor, Koa, must make their way across an unknown terrain riddled with dangerous prehistoric creatures in an epic fight to survive. I didn't really know what to expect with this movie, and I honestly kind of feel bad for this movie. You're going up against the biggest horror movie of the year, and your movie has literally gotten no promotion, no marketing. I don't think I've even seen a trailer for this movie before any movie I've seen in theaters this year, and I haven't seen Adam Driver talk about it. I haven't seen... The studio talk about it, which is Sony, by the way, because, of course, Sony. It almost just feels like Sony had an opening on their schedule and was like, oh, look here, March 10th, like, we don't have anything coming out, but you're gonna, you're gonna go up against the biggest horror movie sequel ever, so just release it there, and somebody in the studio was like, okay, let's do it. So there's not much hype around this movie, and <laughs> the, I did watch the trailer before I went, and I was like, that was slightly underwhelming. And I'll say I walked out of the movie kind of enjoying it. Look, call me crazy. I'm probably the only guy on Earth that's going to give this movie a positive review. But, hey, I can't help it. I had some fun in the 90-some-odd minutes that this movie was. Adam Driver is just a, he's just playing a cardboard cutout character. But, I mean, seriously, when he's, like, shooting at the dinosaurs, I'm like, dude, you're Kylo Ren. Just whip out a lightsaber and destroy him. There was a good variety of creatures that had a lot more dinosaurs than the previous Jurassic Park movie did. Yeah, Jurassic World Dominion felt like it had zero dinosaurs except for that chase scene in Malta, which isn't even that great of a chase scene, in my opinion. But, you know what? At least this movie had the balls to have a cool dinosaur death involving one of those, like, hot spring waters. It was really funny to watch a dinosaur get burned alive by hot water something jurassic world dominion could never do in even fallen kingdom and that's my thing i went into this movie i said this looks like a ripoff jurassic park movie but you know what i liked it more than the last jurassic park movie which was dominion and i think i liked it more than the second half of fallen kingdom yeah that's right i call fallen kingdom fallen kingdom see for me this had some of the cheesy elements the cheesy adventure fun that the first half of fallen kingdom had until that movie became some stale sour sneak around in a mansion sell auction off dinosaurs for only millions of dollars no those things would go for billions of dollars but you know why make trillions when we could make billions and so with that in my head canon 65 is actually a canon in the Jurassic Park movie in the Jurassic Park series. And I could just I could just watch Jurassic Park, Jurassic Park 2, Jurassic Park 3, Jurassic World, the first half of Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, and then 65, and just skip skip the second half of Fallen Kingdom and all Dominion. And here we go. A better Jurassic Park movie. It had like the fun of Jurassic Park 3. Like it had that stupidity to it where it's like yeah we're probably not doing the smartest things but at the same time adam driver is a bit out of his elements i don't know how far into the future this takes place but i mean he does crash land onto earth 65 million years ago so there's not really much he can do other than just shoot a gun like i said man whip out your lightsaber kylo ren them man Ariana Greenblatt, I thought, was really good in the movie, and her character, Koa, is one of those characters that I actually really like. Because when she first shows up, and when I first heard about the premise that it was going to be Adam Driver and a young girl trying to escort themselves through, like, this jungle wasteland and, like, the prehistoric era with dinosaurs coming after them, I said to myself, this could go one of two ways. And the worst way possible would be if if this kid does not stop talking for the whole movie and is fucking annoying. 
And luckily, that's not the case. She doesn't say a lot, but she's resourceful. She's smart. And I actually, they touch on some things in this movie with Adam Driver and him having another daughter. And it was like, she was like a second daughter to him. And he learned to care about her a lot. And I thought that that was actually really touching. And she did a really good job for having to do a lot of moving and facial expressions and a different kind of acting than just vocalizing lines. That's a huge challenge. And I commend her greatly for that. Okay, look, I have some questions, though, with this movie. Uh, okay, like, why? <laughs> why? There's just some logical issues I have with this movie. Like, this this ship can't be crewed by one man. Like, it's so big. Why is there? Why is Adam Driver the only crewman in, on this ship? Because the script says so. Because the script needs that. There's a lot of plot convenience, too, in this movie where it's just, hey, like, there's that area that we have to go to. Let's get there before the dinosaurs and other creatures try and kill us. The script is full of cliches and it's predictable as hell. You know exactly what's going to happen at the end or you think it's going to go one of two ways, but it doesn't divert to a third way. You know, it's not like there's like a fork in the middle of the road. You know, it's 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 a why. It's like this way or that way. But I will give the movie credit where credit is due. It doesn't overcomplicate things. It's just, nope, this is what we got to do. This is where we got to go. Let's go get it. And have some cool dino action on the way. There is some weird editing in this movie, though. There's Right off the bat in this movie, the opening scene, I was just like, oh, God, is this how this movie is going to be edited? Is like, am I going to, am I just, is this going to make me sick? Ugh. I, how, did, how did they not do this? Like, it, it, like characters were talking over each other when it felt like they shouldn't be talking over each other. There's instances where Adam Driver's like saying lines in the beginning and then almost immediately, like after he's done, like he has like two words left in his line and the other person starts talking. I'm like, is this how this movie's gonna be? Like, is are people just gonna talk over each other without like when they're not supposed to? Like, what the hell is happening? There's also another cut in the movie where something happens and it cut the movie cuts as if there's a passage of time but then in the next scene you realize that you're in real time no time has passed at all and i thought that that was a little strange so there are some weird editing choices like that it's not it's probably not the best made movie in that regard i'm not gonna sit here and lie to you and say i wasn't entertained by this movie i mean i i had some fun i'll probably be the only dude on the planet who likes this movie. I'm, I'm going to say I enjoyed it slightly more than a half a bucket of popcorn. I can, I can literally describe this movie as Jurassic Park meets Turok. You ever play Turok? The game was hard as shit. I hated that game. Bringing up classic video games here and it's awesome. So if you have seen 65, I want to know what you thought about it. Drop me some feedback in the comment section below. I'll leave my link to my website in the description below as well. You guys are the best. Thank you for watching. My name is Alex Madden, and I will see you at the movies somewhere.